In the heart of Europe during the Renaissance period, a time when human curiosity and exploration knew no bounds, a profound fascination with the mystical and the elemental began to take root. Among the plethora of esoteric subjects that captivated the imaginations of scholars and alchemists, there emerged one particularly enigmatic entity, the gnomes. These diminutive beings, known for their intimate connection with the element of earth, made their debut in Western esoteric traditions through the pioneering work of Philippus Aurelius Theophrastus Bombastus von Hohenheim, more commonly known as Paracelsus. In the pages of his writings, notably the cryptic De Nymphus, Silphus, Pygmies et Salamandries et Decaturus Spiritibus, Paracelsus unveiled the secrets of gnomes. He portrayed them as guardians of the earth's hidden treasures, being small in stature but vast in their wisdom, dwelling deep within the earth's embrace. As Paracelsus set the stage for gnome lore, Georgius Agricola added depth and nuance to their narrative with his influential treatise on mining and metallurgy, De Re Metallica. Within its pages, Agricola delved into the subterranean world, introducing gnomes as spectral companions of miners. These miners, braving the treacherous depths, believed that invoking gnomes could safeguard them from the perils of the underworld. Thus, gnomes became not only protectors of miners but also patrons of the mining industry, guardians of those who ventured into the earth's belly. Yet, gnomes were not confined to the mines alone. Francesco Maria Guazzo, in his Compendium Malficarum, wove gnomes into the intricate tapestry of witchcraft and demonology. Here, they were beings with arcane knowledge, keepers of hidden treasures and ancient secrets, lurking just beneath the surface of our mundane world. These early mentions of gnomes in European folklore and esotericism painted a vivid picture of these earthbound spirits. They were envisioned as elderly, bearded men with wrinkled faces, attired in simple, earth-toned garments. Their connection to the earth ran deep, with their skin mirroring the textures of the soil and rocks they called home. Gnomes, it was believed, inhabited subterranean burrows, their dwellings intricately designed and adorned. In these underground sanctuaries, they safeguarded not only the earth's riches but also their own treasures. Gemstones and crystals adorned their homes, and intricate carvings adorned the walls, testaments to their craftsmanship. These creatures, though reclusive and shy, carried a profound sense of duty. They were responsible for safeguarding the earth's riches, serving as its diligent custodians. Some whispered that gnomes possessed the elusive power of invisibility, a boon that allowed them to navigate the world unnoticed, protecting its secrets from prying eyes. In the realm of elemental beings, gnomes stood as one of the four primary elemental creatures. Alongside sylphs of the air, undines of the water, and salamanders of fire, gnomes held their position as guardians of the earth. They were the solid, stable, and grounding aspect of nature, responsible for maintaining the balance and vitality of the physical world. Their connection to mining communities ran deep. Gnomes became the unseen companions of miners, invoked through rituals and offerings to ensure a safe and prosperous dig. These earthly spirits were believed to guide miners to hidden veins of precious metals and gems, their knowledge of the earth's depths unmatched. But as time flowed onward, gnomes transcended their roles in mining and took root in various aspects of culture. In gardens and homes, Gnome figurines emerged as symbols of protection and good fortune. They were the guardians of well-tended green spaces, their presence ensuring the flourishing of flora and the harmony of the environment. 
rituals and customs tied to gnomes continued to evolve, with some leaving offerings of food, milk, or shiny objects near gnome habitats as signs of respect. Miners, too, clung to their superstitions, believing that appeasing gnomes would bring luck and safety to their subterranean endeavors. In the world of alchemy and the occult, gnomes found themselves at the heart of mystical practices. These earthy spirits were elemental beings of great significance representing the foundational aspects of transformation and alchemical work. They guarded the esoteric wisdom hidden within the Earth's treasures, and alchemists sought their guidance to unlock the secrets of transmutation. Artists, writers, and architects also drew inspiration from gnome symbolism. Their representations appeared in sculptures and decorative elements, celebrating the stability and wisdom they symbolized. Gnomes became embodiments of nature's enduring qualities and the guardians of hidden mysteries. Across the globe, various cultures wove their own threads into the rich tapestry of gnome lore. In Scandinavia, they became the beloved Taunt and Nis, while in Scotland, they were the elusive Brownies. In Russia, they took the form of the Damavoy, and in Iceland, they were the Holderfolk, the hidden people. Modern times have seen gnomes emerge as popular garden ornaments, a whimsical connection to nature, and a reminder of our enduring fascination with the mystical earth. Yet, in remote corners of the world and within the pages of ancient texts, the gnome's legacy endures a testament to humanity's enduring bond with the elemental spirits of the earth.